Oh, we are now. We've just check the button. So let's just check on sound. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. Yes, I'm gonna have a quick Talk slurp. Amongst yourselves. Yes, we yourselves. have sound. We have sound. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. And Ginny is sitting over there with the dog on her lap, so and she can't Fifi move. And pressed the live button herself, which is <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah, all by myself. Technological How do I do advance. This? <laughs> so, cheers, everybody. Happy Friday, and happy first day of spring. Not that you'd think it when you drive up today through torrential downpour and the van being buffeted from the wind, etc., etc. But I'm sort of feeling slightly chuffed because we made it, got through the winter and survived. And here we are officially in spring, so I couldn't be more chuffed. It's, it's upwards and bright sunny skies from here on in, even though it's pouring with rain today. That's just a temporary thing. So our garden stuff will be coming in thick and fast. We've started planting up some of the herbs and things, haven't we, Nick? Yeah, yeah. Um, <coughs> and, uh, yeah, very thrilled and delighted about that. But I'm not just standing here with bubbles and celebrating because it's spring, although that's Ten past worthy nine cause. In the Ten past yeah. nine, yes, it's just I'm a bit of a secret old bloody <laughs> lush when it comes to having a bit of bubbles. Let me just a quick slurp a minute. Mm. What a rush this morning. Um... But actually, suddenly dawned on me yesterday that 1st of March, we um, have been in the shop for five years. Cannot believe it. Five years. Picked up the keys five years ago, and it was with great excitement but huge trepidation, thinking to myself, how am I ever going to fill this shop with enough stock to make it viable and to get people to come in. And here we are five years later by some miracle and we're thriving. And we could do with a shop that's now twice as big with a massive outside space as well. We're doing all sorts of, um, uh, what do you call it when you have outside stuff? Um, reclamation and salvage, that's what I would love to do. However, I'm extremely grateful to just still be here after five years. We've actually been trading for nine years because this is our third shop. We've had three shops in Wooden Under Edge and they've got progressively bigger. Um, won't be planning on moving anytime soon. I think there's some comments coming in, Ginger. You tuned in over there as well or not? Yeah, I'm trying to share the broadcast. I'll just go oh, back to that. Doing so many technical jobs all in one go. I can't read it this close. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, Aileen Wilson. Hello, Aileen. Hello, my darling. Nice to know you're there. Hope your back garden's been sorted out. It did look like a bit of a bog when I saw it the last time on one of your pictures. Who's that? Uh, yes, congratulations. Thanks, Aileen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, how do I think we've kept going? Oh, God knows. Sheer bloody mindedness, I think. Um, we show up every day. Garden's still a mess. Garden's still a mess, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not surprised with this weather. Um, yes, we show up every day, we do the do, we're enthusiastic, we try and have some fun. We do have some fun, don't we? In between the tears, we do have some fun. And um, we're as enthusiastic now as we ever were. But I, it, I couldn't have done any of it without the massive support of my darling sister. Isn't that funny? I can't even say that without getting all moche. Really can't. I could blub just blub. I'm not going to, but I could. And um, Nick and the lovely Barbara, who's not here, and um, without them, I couldn't have managed at all. And they keep me going and they do all the stuff that I can't do. Nick does all the sort of sourcing of stuff and he does all the heavy lifting. Barbara's my creative. Virginia's just the wind beneath my wings. I know I will say it, but she is. She sorts out all the accounts and sides for me and keeps me trying to try new things, which is quite difficult because I'm a bit of a stick in the mud when it comes I to I drag like her that. along to the new she drags me for, she does for drag five me. years and then Caroline suddenly she clicks Campbell and she Hill. goes, Thank you, my lovely oh, this is amazing. There. Everybody should be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I She roll. pushes me and shoves me along, but we do actually get there in the end. And then I'm the biggest advocate of it. It's just such hard work for my sister having to deal with me. <laughs> five years before you 
you've got to push the button yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Typical, yes. Absolutely right. Too scared to even push the go live button. Christ, I'm a liability. So, um, well, you are actually the um, originator and the designer and the creative. Can I get some the, credit for something? And then? the inspiration behind the eclectic state of this shop, <laughs> which no, nobody understands. <laughs> Me Why included. are things allowed and not allowed? There is no logic, but things are definitely not allowed and allowed. Yeah. And that is all uh, by Dane of Fiona's style. I think when I go around and I'm buying things, I always have this fatalistic approach. And I think if everything went belly up and the shop had to close tomorrow, could I live with this in my house? The fact that I have to live in a mansion to house it all <laughs> is besides the point. But if I could live with it in my house, then it's game on and I will take it and I love it and there are some pieces that I love so much I really don't want to part with them but I have to remind myself that I am actually a business and if I kept all the things I loved I would be bust a long time ago. So Julie says morning never too early for fears. Enjoy. Never too early for fears Jills. Cheers my darling and thank you for always supporting us and being there you're just marvellous it makes so much difference and of course it goes without saying but I will say it that if we didn't have the most fantastic support from our followers and our customers we wouldn't be a business at all and um, I can't tell you how extremely grateful I am to all of you for continuing your support and for always showing up and so I thank you from the bottom of my heart god I'm gonna be a wreck today I can just tell couldn't be a wreck so it's been a funny old week um, we have been busy with lots of new stuff coming in and as usual even though i worked my butt off yesterday uh i haven't managed to price things but we'll go around and we'll just show you fiona um, lp good morning morning v how are you doing <laughs> hold on a second hold on oh yeah no need for you to bark, Paddy. Yeah, we no thought we'd make you into a sandwich yeah, this no morning. Yeah, Little no move is bad up in two seconds, yeah, no, all right? No we, we, there was nowhere to pop. We just yeah, squeezed in. Down, <laughs> down. Thank my lovely. Live action. Live action. Next, jam somebody in. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, what was, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? I can't remember. God, it's funny. Three glasses of... Three sips. Three glasses. <laughs> oh, it's really funny how it. three glasses... Carol Gambon is saying, so glad you're on our doorstep. Congrats for nine years. Thank you, my lovely. Thank you. And well done for all your painting and persevering and that huge job you tackled and then had a slight technical issue at the end. And well done for staying sane. So, yeah. Keep and it, anybody keep who's got relatives and you might want to encourage them to come to Fiona's Facebook page because she does have this new version and uh, people who don't watch regularly may not be aware so if you could share the broadcast to your um, feed then the people who have slipped through the net and don't realize that the old um, account is now void but it's still floating around and uh, we can't do anything about that so if you could share again with your friends and relatives and anybody you know that would help her new channel on Facebook yes and just so you know our, our channel is Fifi's Fancy Furniture Second to MD because our first one which had the four and a half thousand followers got hacked bless their little cotton socks so we had to say goodbye to all of that and start again and I'm happy to say it is now rebuilding but I posted it onto the Wooten um, notice board and somebody said I miss Fifi's Facebook so clearly people haven't no. realized that no. there is a new Facebook well, page, anything so. that you can do to help expand it, that will be gratefully received. And of course, we are still up at the um, the Malt House in Stroud, which is going very, very well. Very pleased with how that's turning out. We're getting a lot of people coming who have been to the Malt House and seen our flyers up there and have come to visit us in Wooten as the mothership. So that's great. Um, what was I going to say? Just a quick word. Last week I said that maybe m means more to dealers than it does to anybody else. But I was saying that although we're on our winter hours, we were almost level pegging with the same amount of business and the figures for the same period last year. Well, I checked and this morning we are behind our figures for last year. Not massively, but a significant amount, which makes you sort of think to yourself, hmm, should we be doing these winter hours? But we did have a big sale at the very tail end of February last year, which made a difference. 
and also I have to balance it with my mental health and I think that this year I have been so improved from a mental health point of view. Um, those three days, not being in the shop, being at home painting, and I have to counter in the fact that when I sell those pieces, if I sell these pieces that I'm working on at home, that will help to counteract the fact that I've been not taking the business whilst I've been closed. So overall, from a business perspective, would I do it again? A hundred percent yes. Um, it's been my way of getting through the winter. And actually, when Nick's been coming down to the house and we've got on with stuff back at home, it's made a big difference, hasn't it, Nick, in yes. terms of <clears throat> clearing the decks and um, producing some new work, which I'm looking forward to bringing back up to the shop soon. Um, it is a bit mad and bonkers. Certainly one of the pieces is super crazy, but it was just something I had in my head and I wanted to do. I'm sure I'll get it out of my system and normal service will be resumed. Says Nick thinking, yes, it is a bit mad, isn't it? It is. It but is. It's also good when you're the wrong day. It has. And if I'm if I'm in a good mood, it's better for you, isn't it? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday while I was here, I was sorting through some stuff in the kitchen. And as you usually do, you find some bits that are tucked away which have got forgotten about. So I thought I'd pull them out just to show you. Nick's going to have to hold them open. I don't know how well we'll be able to do this, but we had some beautiful map done by Cartographic Arts. And um, he's on the internet and he's done some beautiful map, which we've had folded up. So it's not the easiest thing to show you. But this one is one of Gloucestershire. Carol's saying, your inspiration is infectious, keep it up. Oh, bless. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, so this is Gloucester. I don't know how well we can show you, but it's a fabulous map. Um, map. There's all sorts of information on it. There's a really, really lovely... Um, <laughs> it's going up and down here as well. We don't know what we're doing. Um, there's a really nice... What would you call those things? Like a compass at the bottom uh, with the scale on it. So anybody who's passionate about Gloucester, this would be a beautiful thing to have in your study or in your kitchen. And that one um, would look fantastic framed. And I don't think it would cost an arm and a leg to get it framed. They come in a box, a triangular box, and we have them on for £85, but we're having a big clear out. So I'll let that one go for 55 if anybody wants it. And all you've got to do then is pay for the frame. And then the other one that we have, which is the same sort of thing, same deal, but just slightly different, is the Cotswolds. And you can actually see, ooh, 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 can you get hold of that? Right. You can actually see, if you go down a bit, Nick, the um, compass at the top of this one. And I seem to remember reading all sorts of things within the compass. When you get close, you've got all the names of the little places. And it's got the scale on there. It's got all sorts of sites of significant historical and cultural interest. And it's a very beautiful thing. So again, reduced from 85, we'll let that go for 55. We've only got those two, one of Gloucester and one of the Cotswolds. So the first ones that come in get it. Same thing applies. I found some of these which were down behind the cupboard. These are the Moody Mare. What would they call these? They call these, um, they're transfers, that's right. And they're on big sheets. This one's worded. This has got things like love on it and gin and my home bar and sweet home and all sorts of nice wordage. So they're very easy to apply. And then this one is one big sheet. It's actually of Gypsy Romany Rose. Uh, a lovely thing that you could put over the front of a chest of drawers and then slice between the drawers and have a really lovely motif on it. Now, originally these were $29.95. We reduced them to $19.95 and then I put them back in the kitchen and forgot all about them. <laughs> so we've got two or three of these, some different designs, and um, we're just going to let those go. What did I say I was going to let them go for? £10 each. Bloomin' bargain, absolute bargain, but to be honest, the tubes keep falling over and driving me nuts. So I've got about four of those. Two of, two of each, yeah. Ten pounds. Come in and grab them fast. They'll be gone by the end of the day, I'm sure. Right. So 
more, more slurp required, more slurp. Oh. God, that van's getting a bit close to my van. Just watch carefully a second. Ooh, ooh, I hope he stops. He stopped, good. Right, so, Ginge, I think you might have to get up now to do the thing. She's sitting there with Paddy on her lap, and there's your orange juice up there. Ginge is a pure being, she doesn't drink, so I have to drink all the stuff that she doesn't. And I will today, I'm just in the mood. <laughs> Some excuse. So, um, what was up in this room, Nick? Honest to good. Oh, I know. We've had these two pots in. They're only small. I think they're going to be nine ninety five each, but they're very nice. Black, sort of shiny enamel almost, with a motif on them. Would look super stylish with some of that black grass and some black pansies, I think. Um, little basket, very sturdy, very sweet. Don't know how much that's going to be yet, but it won't be very much. Tea set, Ginge, swivel around behind you. Look at this nice tea set. I'm going to have to sneak in because I'm going to have to read what's on the bottom of them. Now, I haven't priced these up yet, but I love the colours of them, these little demi tasse uh, cups. Royal Worcester, in celebration of HRH 80th birthday, 2006. And they're just very, very pretty. And I do remember back in the day when I used to do cookery and things like that, I would serve one of these with a chocolate mousse in it and I'd have it on a great big plate and I would sort of slice a strawberry and splay it out in a very, very chefy way. I can't believe that I used to do things like that, but I did once. And then I'd sprinkle icing sugar over a teaspoon and then lift the teaspoon off and all sorts of clever things. Julie's saying I love the cups and sauces. They're gorgeous, aren't they? And I haven't priced them yet. They, they came in late last night. So I will put those on the system today. Now, also, I have two of these. The candles fell over before I managed to stand them up. But these are really, really, really good quality with leather handles. They're stainless steel. There's a little sort of support in there to keep the candles up the right way if you don't tip them over like I did just now. And um, I don't know how much those are going to be either because I'm absolutely useless. But I will endeavour to find out later on today. Is there anything else up in this part, Nick, or is it all down in the other room? Just leave all that. Don't even fiddle with that. Just leave it. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Right, let's go and take the book down and have a quick look. Um, 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 Because we're now getting our gardening stuff coming in thick and fast. It's taking over rather nicely, which I'm very pleased about. I still have my Marmite table. Come on, somebody. Somebody's got a lovely big English house with sort of, what would it be, a big open dining area that they would like a nice You only live in a world where everyone lives in a mansion. <laughs> in my head, my house is a mansion and it's tiny. But this one, honestly, it was put on for 675 We have reduced it to 550 it comes into five separate pieces. So although it's huge and it's heavy and it's different, we can sort of transport it very easily. And, um, you know, somebody out there wants to have something that's completely different. It's a unique piece. Nobody else is going to have one. And that's where the, uh, where the clever bit lies. So do come and talk to me if you think you might want a special table. Um, I don't think all that much has changed on here. We're constantly moving these bits and pieces around, but they're all generally the same. Uh, the tack rack hasn't gone yet. I'm very surprised about that. It's on to 79.95. Maybe it's because it's hidden behind these bedside cabinets. But that's a really sturdy, nice tack rack for 79.95. You need to share that to one of the horse lover pages. That would be a good idea. How do I do that? Equestrian I'll group. Ask you. Yes. Yeah, I'll ask Jim later. She'll sort it, no doubt. Um, this I thought was great. I absolutely love this. Twenty-nine, no, twenty-two ninety-five. A circular planter, which's got holes in the bottom so there's good drainage. And actually, on the back, you have got the two screw holes to actually put it on the wall. We haven't done that because obviously I've got to be able to get it off the wall. But it's galvanised, and I just thought that that would be super with some trailing plants coming out of it. Or actually, I rather fancy having a go at growing some strawberries this year, because I think strawberries trailing down out of that would be rather nice. Um, what else is there, Nick? Oh, yes, look. 
<laughs> our chimneys have been breeding. We came in and there was the bee, the little bee. <laughs> 24 95 look at that Paddy straight away because I'm talking to him. Yes, Paddy, it wasn't you, the little baby. What is this? How lovely is this? Made out of cast iron. Um, proper little chimney. I think that would be a fantastic tabletop. Um, <laughs> having a look, Pad. Um, hand warmer. And it's on for 24 95 And I just think that is absolutely darling. It's so cute. And of course, if you couldn't be bothered to light a little fire in it, which I would absolutely do being an arsonist at heart, I would just have some um, nightlight candle holders or something like that in there. But we did laugh because it does look for all the world like they've been getting it on mm -hmm. at night time when we've not been here and they've a little boy. baby. Such a good um, yes, this, this, these, oh, you know how I've been bleating on about red gladioli? Well, I think that there's some sort of conspiracy against me because red gladioli can i find any anywhere nope so i gave in and i bought some white lilies and i've just treated us and the shop to some beautiful white lilies in this trophy um pot because we are nine years old today so that's on for 42.95 and it's just really to show you how to put some tall elegant flowers in there i think that is bloody gorgeous and it's cheap as chips so then we've had these in um Lovely little bird bath. This one has a the top that lifts off and it's got a proper metal spike to locate it into the um, stand. We've got mice on this one. There's a mouse up here and a mouse down there. Lovely ivy. There's a sort of a plaque on the bottom. There's even a frog on it. And if you've got to have a bird bath, that reconstituted stone one I think is as lovely as you're going to find. Hopefully we'll try and get that one on today as well. We've had these two matching pots in. These are willow stone very very beautifully well made and already the weathering has started so they're a really nice matting set so keep an eye out for those we will try and get those on today Christ Nick we've got so much work to do um this is on for bargain price of 70 74.95 is that right yeah I think it was it was 75 pounds 74.95 that's 75 isn't it yes Dear, oh dear. Terrible. <laughs> you know what I'm like with numbers. So this all, um, yeah, all folds up beautifully, put it away. Um, there's rust on it. Somebody said, oh, it's got rust. I said, yes, isn't that fantastic? The more rust, the better. Love a bit of rust. This came in. I think this is fantastic. This is seriously big, seriously heavy. Um, it's a hanging basket stand, but I didn't have any hanging baskets. So just to give you the idea, I've put up this candelabra there which is a lovely outside candelabra that is on for 68 pounds the actual stand which is really heavy duty is on for how much can't remember don't come to this video for don't information. come if you want information don't come here especially after we've been on this i think it is i think it's about about 70 pounds i'm sure it's about 70 pounds but imagine that with some really beautiful big hanging baskets on it. Or bird feeders on it. Yeah, or exotic feed, uh, bird feeders. Why not? Absolutely lovely. And that does this piece does lift off as well. So, um, but it's a really substantial stand. You might be able to see it better that side. Thought I'd just show you this as well. I bought these in from outside because when they're in the metal stand, you can't see them. This is an armillary on a stick. It's thirty four ninety five. I thought that was lovely. Really, really stylish. And the pigeons, which you can see more easily when they're in here, are on for $19.95. We've got all our lovely pots and things coming in. We've started to sell some really super new modern trowels, stainless steel. These are Wilkinson's Tracy Ford. Allen saying good morning. Morning, Tracy. How are you, my lovely? Simon Meadows saying good morning, T. Simon, oh, you're alive. We so miss you. Come down and see us. We need some Simons in our lives. Right, the little forks as well. These are brand new, obviously. Wilkinson saw great quality, eleven seventy five. We've only just started to stock a few little bits of these new bits and pieces in because since the hardware shop has gone, we need them. Oh yes, this is new in. I thought these were fun. A pair of welly boots. They're made from fiberglass and they are a planter. And again, they came in late last night. I haven't had a chance to price them yet, but we will. I take my photographs and I will try and get them onto the system. Um, I think that was everything down here, more or less, wasn't it? Um, it's not actually raining at the moment. I just want to show you what our nine pot feeder looks like when it's planted up with herbs. 
We sold the tortoise, that's gone. Um, 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 what else is there? I think we've done, I can't even speak, done most of them. Ooh. Right, let's just have a quick look at what's outside. Not sure there's anything particularly new, but we did plant up some herbs and they do look fab. Except I can't remember how much they are. Ah! So, our nine pot holders, I decided to plant some up with the um, herbs just to show you what they look like. This one is for sale, but I can't remember. We've added in some extra for the herbs. It won't be masses, but they're, this is $69.95 as is with the pots, but without the plants. And we've added some extra for the plants and it's on our Instagram page and our Facebook page. But imagine that just outside your back door. They're literally only a few days old, these herbs. But when they get fuller and the whole lot gets um, bigger and more lush, then they'll be right outside your back door and you can nip out and put the fresh herbs in. We changed the window yesterday. The chest of drawers is going to its new home. So we've got a few of the garden bits and pieces, some lovely pots there. This chair is on for £55. Look, it's only one chair. It's one French chair. Is that any good for anybody? I suppose if you're a Johnny No Mates and you've got a balcony and you've got a little table and you want to sit and have your coffee and you want to do it in style, well, that's the chair for you. But if not, then just put a beautiful plant pot on it and have it as a plant stand. 55 pounds of gorgeousness. Um, and everything else is much the same. Love the watering can, 47.95. And um, the rest of it's... Fiona LP is saying the window looks so stylish. Oh, thank you, Fee. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, we do our best. Sometimes it's better than others, but um, it's looking all right today. So thank you. Right, that's pretty much it. Last thing to remind everybody, or just to tell you if I didn't already say, I can't remember, auction is this coming week. This is the Wooten auction. Um, it's viewing day on Monday and then sale day on Tuesday and Wednesday. And if you haven't been to the Wooten auction rooms before, it's literally, it's a five minute walk from our shop. Um, fantastic people up there. If, you, if you've never been to an auction and you want to go and see what it's like, go to that one. It's good fun. And they have a laugh up on the rostrum. Very interesting. There's two or three big buildings of stuff up there worth going to have a look at. We won't be open because it's our winter hours, but we'll be here on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So anybody who's coming to pick their stuff up, do come and see us. Oh, what was that? Nothing, sorry. Did you just, just cut press us off? Button. No, we shouldn't press buttons when we're <laughs> live. <laughs> Better was going, please just cut her off. <laughs> that's yours, is it? Oh, God. Right, okay. So um, that's it, folks. Um, don't forget... We do still want desperately anything you can provide us with in terms of sort of uh, out of date first aid kits, Ginge, mm -hmm. out of date drugs, medical supplies, medical supplies. non lethal aid for the front line in Ukraine. Yes, absolutely. And um, we're getting very well stocked. Um, we're very grateful to everybody that's been uh, bringing in their leftover medications and first aid kit so thank you for that thank you for that and um thank you everybody for being there supporting us we so appreciate it cheers nick cheers, cheers Ginny. Cheers. Cheers. thanks everybody and, um, cheers. see you next week lots and lots of love like like share share thank you bye 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 bye